Hi, I'm Josh Taylor, Product Manager with Cable Express, and it's time for Cable Talk. And I'm Brittany Zulis, and today we're going to talk about fiber density in the data center. With the huge demand for information and connectivity, fiber density is increasing dramatically. Because of this, there are many problems that can occur in a fiber cabling infrastructure. Cable management is a big concern. Congestion makes cable identification difficult and leads to accidentally unplugging the wrong one. And that can lead to downtime. downtime. And, and nobody, nobody wants that. that. The increase in hardware and port density is taking up a lot of space. Many are simply out of rack space. This can lead to congestion under the floor and or overhead, which puts physical strain on the cabling as well as airflow blockage. But there are solutions to resolve these issues. Use harnesses on chassis switches. This reduces cabling bulk by 60% and makes cable management a snap. Use assemblies with bend and sensitive fiber. This allows for less optical loss from bends in the cable routing. There are some great space saving products that use non-traditional areas to connect up the cabling. Like the Z-mount brackets, which utilize the space next to the switches. Or the ladder rack enclosures, which can mount to overhead conveyance. Most important is to follow the TIA 942 guidelines for a structured cabling system. This allows for use of trunking, which reduces the overall footprint dramatically compared to using jumpers. Trunking products are also designed to run in conveyance, and that makes them less prone to breakage due from unforeseen pulling and stress on the assembly. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And for more information, visit us at www.cableexpress.com today. Respect layer one. But there are solutions to resolve these issues. Oh my god! Oh my god! You almost broke your leg. Your finger would have been there and it snapped off. I could have been killed.